In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use your Sony camera as a webcam via the Sony Cam Imaging Edge webcam installer. And that only needs a USB cable. It's compatible with Windows and Mac. And that means you can live stream or get your video feed from your camera to your computer without using one of these, a capture card like the Elgato Cam Link. In the description below is a link to the Sony Imaging Edge webcam installer. One thing to note at the time of this upload is that the Windows version is more up to date than the Mac version, so you'll have more options there. Go to the download button. Here you can see the supported operating systems as well as some other parameters required for this to work. Below that you'll see a list of Sony camera models in which the Sony webcam software is confirmed to operate with. After you've selected your camera model, then you can download the driver. I'm on a Mac, so that .dmg file is gonna go to the downloads folder. After clicking it, I'll go through the whole installation process, and this will require you to restart your computer in order for it to start working. After your computer has restarted, I highly suggest going back to the Imaging Edge webcam website and going to the How to Use tab. This will give you a step-by-step -step guide on specific camera models on how to connect your Sony camera to your computer because different cameras will have different setups. As a general rule of thumb across most cameras though, inside the menu system, you want to go to the network tab inside your camera, go to control with smartphone and make sure that's turned off. The second parameter is in your setup, go to USB connection and make sure it's PC remote. And also if you want the camera to be powered via the USB while you're using it in this mode, make sure that USB power supply is on. Otherwise you'll probably need a dummy battery to use the camera for extended periods of time. When physically connecting the camera to your computer, make sure you're using a compatible USB cable. When I first tried this setup, on my Alpha 6400. On the screen, it said that it was charging via the USB, but it did not give me a connecting screen the moment I plugged the cable in, which if that happens to you like it did to me, make sure that you find the right kind of cable so that when you do plug it into your computer like this, it actually does say connecting immediately when you plug it into the USB. The camera will now stay on that USB connection screen until you select it in whatever software that you're using on the computer. Back on my desktop, I thought that the webcam was gonna be a part of a standard standalone application inside the Imaging Edge desktop ecosystem, but it's actually not. It's more like a driver that you install and now your camera is recognizable by all of these different web conferencing and live streaming softwares. Hey guys, there I am. One very important thing to note though is that the USB cable does not carry audio. So right now you're listening to my Rodecaster Pro going into OBS, but not the audio from the camera. It does not transfer audio via the USB. If I were doing something via Skype and go to the audio video settings, now Sony Camera Imaging Edge is available there, as well as if I'm using something like Google Hangouts, Sony Camera Imaging Edge is there as well. Unfortunately for me and my Mac computer, this does not work with the Zoom conferencing software. This may be something that's selectable for people on Windows, I'm not sure. Another app I use a lot is the QuickTime player to record directly into my computer. If you were to go to movie recording right here with camera, there is the Sony camera imaging edge. I click it and it just gives me the imaging edge splash screen. It does not allow me to see the image itself. Another thing to note, which might happen to some other people, is if I switch the quality over to maximum, it doesn't even give me the splash screen. It just gives me black. Hopefully something like that also gets addressed in further updates of the webcam app. It's also only limited to working with one program at a time. If you try and use two simultaneously, this is the air that will pop up. A couple more points to bring up is the resolution that you're outputting to is 1024 by 576 pixels. If you are experiencing some lag on the video, maybe like right now, you can try switching to auto mode, but Personally, I think this kind of looks weird. That kind of treats it more as if it were a picture mode than movie mode, and that's this is auto mode right now if you like how that looks. And for those of you that are curious as to what a $99 Elgato 4K cam link can get you, that's the capture card. This is what it looks like as opposed to the USB which you were just viewing. So is there a $99 difference? One big thing to note, the Elgato 4K will take the audio feed from the camera into whatever device that you're looking to. And I just found that the overall experience when you purchase purchase something like the Elgato 4K cam link, it just works. Anytime you try and use any software that takes the input from a video device, the cam link always shows up and it just works as it's supposed to. So I am really for the cam link. For people that just wanna start using their Sony cameras as a USB webcam live streaming camera, just 
use the webcam software. But if you're looking to step up the production and you just want it to work in all circumstances, just go with something like the Elgato Cam Link 4K. If this video has been helpful, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. If you are new to my channel and you like my whole style, you can subscribe. I'll have some other videos on the screen right now. Maybe they'll be about Sony cameras. Maybe they'll be something that the algorithm wants you to see. Who knows? All right, until next time, I hope you're all out there living a life of abundance. My name's Javier Mercedes, bye.